that we're going to start the haircut is going to be the top of the head where the apex lays and we're going to be working with our scissors and comb with the small teeth and we're going to be creating a nice round shape so we're mimicking the shape of the head the root needs to be coming out from the head perpendicular and our fingers cutting straight now we're only going to be working two incisions with the scissor as this is where we want to create a nice short volumized look as we work down into the bottom of the head you'll see i've switched my tool to a feather razor and this is going to allow me to create something from short around the occipital zone and bone right down into something much longer we're into the nape area working with a scooping motion with the razor giving me something that is really quite cool textured and creative So at this moment, whilst we're working vertically from the apex down to the nape, it's really important that our sections are clean and the hair is really nice and wet. This is gonna help us keep maximum control, working from the round shape through the coronal, down over to the occipital, and then scooping out into the bottom of the nape. So there's a lot of different shapes and techniques working right now, but once we work through the back, you'll see the finished result and how good it is. So just trust the technique at this point. So section number four, still number three is being pushed into number four and we're still working two inch incisions with the scissor at this point. Now what you'll notice is that the tension through my fingers as I'm combing the hair up is always consistent. So there'll be no slack in the hair and this is really important to get that really nice precise shape. So now working down with the feather razor right down into the bottom of the nape now you should start to see the whole shape on this side of the head really coming together as we move on to the last section. Okay, so the back is now complete. What we're doing is we're moving on to the side panel. So we're gonna release the clip. We're then going to make a section through a high area on the contour. So on the highest part of the roundness of the head. And we're going to separate that section. Everything above the roundness will just be clipped up onto the top and then we're gonna to proceed to work through the side panel. We're going to work with vertical sections, which are going to be fingers width to help us maintain balance and consistency. We're gonna work from the top of the section all the way down into the top of the ear, and we're going to be working a cutting line, which is gonna be shorter towards the roundness of the head and gradually getting longer towards the external shape, so where the ear sits in. Again, we're gonna use the feather razor horizontally and we're gonna slide down the hair shaft until we get to the bottom, making sure that we're getting longer as we're working down the hair shaft. Now, what's important at this stage is that we have that visual balance. So if we come right around the back of the head, I'm now gonna just check the lengths either side and make sure that we've got something that feels and looks balanced. Now, the reason it's gonna be slightly longer than what we want it to be is because we have to allow for shrinkage on the hair. When the hair dries, it will expand and the length will get shorter than what it is when it's wet. So I'm just gonna come right around the front of the fringe and work in a round shape from the middle to the edge and then from the middle to the other side as well. So we're breaking the fringe down into two sides so we get a nice evenly balanced fringe and shape on the fringe. And we're gonna use a diffuser and dry this now to about 90% dry. Now finally, just to style, we're gonna be using some dry matte paste. We're gonna work it right into our hands and we're going to evenly distribute the product into the hair. At this point, there's no product in the hair, so we're completely working on pretty much completely dry hair now. This is because we want that really heavily textured dry look. So we're gonna be adding a dry product in, which is gonna help keep the hair looking nice and dry and add lots of texture into the hair really really great tip is to not put too much into one area but to evenly distribute it around the head in every single area 